<clears throat> Hello everyone, we're back. Welcome to YouTube. Welcome to Top Cut Network on YouTube. Welcome to the Top Cut Network retro series on Top Cut Network on YouTube on Top Cut Network. Yes. My name is Dan Garman. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here to play Pokemon TCG from Pokemon the Trading Card Game 2012. We're playing Heart Gold Soul Silver format. All the way to black and white Dark Explorers. A lot of Pokemon cards in these sets. There are. Yeah, and I'm here with Franco. Hi, Franco. Hi, Dan. It's we're, nice to be here. We're going to have better game. I think I think we're going to have a better if game. If you guys watched the last game, you saw me play Vileplume and Vanillux Victini. Boy, did that go bad. So, we're going to try to go better this time. Heck yeah. With, uh, with CMT, we got Celebi, we got Mewtwo, we got Terrakion, we got some country music television but we don't listen to that here because you know dmca stuff yep. uh <laughs> so no yep. no 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 hurt me copyright um yep um i'm here playing dark rye um this is igor costas or costa I igor's list from 2012 his world's winning list world's winning list um this deck runs uh prism energies and terrakions which um ideally helps it um have the edge in the mirror. Also ran some super scoop ups. Uh, pretty, pretty uh, high roll deck here. And I just like to attach energy and go blah. <laughs> Forest breath go burr. <laughs> Forest breath go burr. Yeah, basically exactly that. Uh, X ball is a good thing. Retaliate is a good thing. So I also have Terrakion. So I'm going to be looking to use my Terrakions. To hurt Franco's Dark Rise. Yeah. Well, he tries to only hurt my Mewtwo's and my Celebi's. And Celebi, if I remember correctly, only has 60 HP, right? Yeah, it has 60 so that, HP. So this nice beer hurts this very bad. Yes, yes, it does. So we take uh, double double snipes. And Celebi's just gone. Gonzo. So Gonzo. Dark Rise is super good, even though it's a, an EX. Uh, it's really good at try prize trading um because yep. of all that damage especially in this format where there were a lot of pretty low hp basics yep um so would you like heads or tails uh heads please it is heads There's you heads. get to go first every game wow imagine that that's pretty good <laughs> <laughs> so uh these these cards they are um dark rye and Oh, uh, Mewtwo, they are both available to play in expanded format. Unfortunately, they have definitely been power creeped out of the format. Yeah, there's just uh, better options. Yep. They've been basically made obsolete Pretty at much. this point. Yep. I mean, they were, uh, they were they were at the top of the format. Yep. <laughs> but, you know, stuff happens, man. VMAX get, uh, tag teams get, you know, released. VMAX gets released. They really do be like that. They really so do be Franco's like that. So Franco's going first. All right, so I'm going first. Going to draw. X-Ball, pl <clears throat> DCE, plus power, plus power. Honestly, I could, because I can attack <laughs> turn one. I could, but I, if I miss that, then I will get so punished. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to do that. Instead, I'm going to random receiver. <laughs> That's a lot of cards. Wow, there you go. Um, got a Professor of Theory. I'm going to make the more conservative play here and attach a darkness energy. I, I do have a double Carlos energy, but I'm not going to bank on. <laughs> he doesn't and... want me to hit DCE plus power plus power. Exactly. I guess I'd only need one. I mean, I guess what I could have done is I could have attached the, the double, and then if I got it, then I win. Um, And then just retreated into another Pokemon. Yeah, but, it, colors, yeah no, but, but if you attach DCE and you do miss... Mm -hmm. I very easily can go Mewtwo, DCE, plus power, for his breath, retreat, right. X-Ball. So, yeah, Mewtwo wards are wild. <clears throat> they are wild. So, yeah, if, if I did attach a double, I would have to bank on getting a basic um, so I can retreat it and not yep. get punished for it. But two, three, four, five, six. All right. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play down Darkrai. No! <laughs> and 
And let's see here. Can this have some EV light? Just there to make it, it a little is. bit harder. Yep. Um, and then I'm going to pass. All right. So this seems pretty good. So Dan would need four energy on a Mewtwo. Dual ball. <laughs> oh, double heads. That's pretty nice, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Much better uh, than double tails. It feels pretty good. Yeah, it really sucks to hit double tails on dual, on dual ball junk arm for dual ball again and then hit double tails again. Can't say I know what that's like. Yeah, I, 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 I really wish I could say Yo, the same. Yo, should I go for it? <laughs> go for what? Go for the four energy Mewtwo knockout? That'd be pretty risky, bro. I don't think I can get it. Yeah, you would need so many cards, honestly. I mean, I'm pretty close. <laughs> you are pretty close, but you can't get it. <laughs> I'm pretty close. If you didn't attach Eviolite, I had it. Yeah, that's why I attached the Eviolite. Because um, I could grab this with Dual Ball. I have the Switch. I would need another Switch. If I had another Switch, um, I have it. Yeah. So the reason why I played Random Receiver... Uh, so I already had a Supporter in hand. Um, but I still played random receiver. The reason why I did that was because um, I could have gotten another Wait. card, you know, another supporter because it was N. I didn't really want to give Dan a hand refresh. And then on top of that, um, I could have junk arm be an out to a supporter. Mm -hmm. So twofold there, unfortunately. Did not look like it worked out. But here we go. I'm going to grab with dual ball. Yep. That's pretty good. It is pretty good, isn't it? See, now I got to be careful because if I can't take knockout on the Mewtwo, I don't want to leave a Mewtwo active for him to take knockout against it. Mm -hmm. So Mewtwo Wars are... Um, it's interesting because it's kind of like a dance around it, yeah. right? Like, so I I will start powering this Mewtwo up uh, for his breath. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll hit the switch. And then I'll portrait. Woo! All right, here I am, hoping to top deck a supporter or a Pokemon catcher. Yeah. Because even with the DCE attach, you don't knock me out. Yeah, I do. So, 60 damage? It's it's sixty damage to, on both. Not on Smeargle. Oh, not on Smeargle. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I thought you meant on the Mewtwo, and I was no. like, um, no, no, there needs to be five energy in between. No, I meant on Smeargle. <laughs> so, uh, pass. All right, here we go. Well, I got the catcher. Are you doing it to me? I'm gonna take that as a no. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you would have played it down right away. So I'm gonna attach a dark ride. <laughs> And then I'm going to retreat. And that's all also attaching you like here, Dark Ryan. Stop. And then I'll pass. Duel? Yep. One? One. Uno. Una tarjeta. <laughs> yeah, what's nice is that um, Dan can't really go in with that Mewtwo to hit my Darkrai because if he does, he knows my hands and he knows that I have a DCE DCE to yep. just knock his Mewtwo back out. Yep. So, so we're gonna do these. That's a Terrakion. Yep, I don't like that. All right, we're just gonna <laughs> get a little prepared here. Uh, while I'm shuffling, I'm going to say portrait. Yep. I yep. mean, I knew it was there, but <laughs> you got you to gotta see it. Might know? as well, right? Oh. So with that hand, I am not incredibly worried about taking a Night Spear here. I don't think Franco would dedicate a DCE to Night Spearing. And he can't draw Shaman and Dark Energy with that hand at the moment so we're gonna throw a grass energy on terrakion and pass what the heck man well 
Gonna smeargle. <laughs> Retreat and portrait. <laughs> There's a plus power. And, uh, well, I guess we're gonna have to pass. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> wow, that's pretty nice. Alright, don't be in. Don't be in. Please be in. <sighs> Busted. That's pretty good, Dan. It's not bad. Oh, I'm shuffling. Uh, I'm gonna play it. Yep. <sighs> Man, I love playing supporter and not you know, redrawing wonder, back into supporter out. I wonder if I shouldn't have played the plus power down. I could have knocked out with Terrakion. No, nah, I think you save that for the Mewtwo Wars, my guy. Plus, like, you would need a switch in a fighting energy off of this taunt. Easy. Like, I guess. And then it would put you a fighting energy away from being able to pressure my Pokemon. So, eh, maybe. Maybe it might have been worth it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> what? That's a fighting energy. I don't <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, it's for the prize trades. <laughs> I guess this saves a cell of a turn, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, portrait? Pass turn. Sweet. Ta draw. Um, well, here I could attach a double to Mewtwo, hope to hit a supporter, and then hit a catcher to initiate the Mewtwo war. I don't want to do that. Um, also, if I want, if Dan somehow has a Juniper in hand, this would suck to lose, but it would also very much suck to lose two double colorless, and I do not want that to go to waste. So I'm going to attach a double colorless here onto the Dark Ryan and then portrait. All right, I guess we're ending. A classic. Yep, and then if and then if Dan um. So I'm happy about this, that, but yeah. it's it's also not like the worst thing. So these that both of these decks play Celebration Wind Shaman, so mm -hmm. that that DCE is not stuck on the Dark Cry. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So we both draw six. Draw six. One, two, two, three, four, five, five, six. six. Um, I already attached, so. Yes. Um, Guess I'm just gonna pass. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna go junk arm. I'm gonna grab switch. Okay. I'm going to play switch to Celebi. Um, I'm going to plus power. Juniper. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's pretty good. Eevee Light on Mewtwo. Dang. Yep. So pretty much the, the way Eevee Light protects is um, against plus power. But if there are still um, five energy in between the Mewtwo's, then um, then yeah, it's do it's I want to do this <clears throat> to take one prize? I don't think so. I think I do because I don't want you to portrait me. Like I, I know you just got end, but then you didn't play anything. So 
I think I do want to do this. Um, junk arm. For Switch. I played plus power before I junipered. Yep. So I'll retaliate for knockout. Okay. Draw. <laughs> well, um, I think here I'm going to Ultra Ball those two away. <clears throat> what a good card. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. It's crazy that in this format we didn't like view Ultra Ball as as good as it ended up being. Yeah, I mean a lot of decks run um dual ball. Run ran dual ball, so there was just like a better option. Yeah. A lot of the time. Still though, like mm -hmm. it's crazy to think about the consistency that just didn't get met. Yeah, for sure. So right here going to Catch fighting, catcher, and then X ball for the knockout. Is that? It's a knockout. It's there's uh, 100 times 2, minus 20, 180. That'll do it. X ball knockout. That explains it. I was wondering why I wasn't drawing into any supporters. I'll just play Ponce. <clears throat> I'll tap. <clears throat> Two, three, four, five, six. So if Dan can get a catcher and a plus power, that would be pretty nice for him. <clears throat> Energy search. Ooh, okay. That's pretty nice. <sighs> I'm an idiot. I had catcher in my hand. Oh. Before I played pawn. Huh. Well, is my prize from Smeargle. Oh, rip. So I could have... Yeah, you could have catched it up. <clears throat> yeah, well, you live and you lose. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll just throw... Let's see how I want to do this. Just put this on you two. Okay. <clears throat> um... Sure, you want to do that? I think so. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I'll retaliate for ninety. 70. Yep. 70 because of the EV light. Yep. <clears throat> Draw. Hmm. So what could I do here? So I have a prism in hand. So if I could get a plus power and a plus power and a catcher. Can KO Dan's Mewtwo. I don't think I want to do that though. I think here what I'll do is I'll attach here to the Dark Rye and then taunt. Seems good. 
So my my idea here is that I can Night Spear hit the track down for 90. I mean, that's like whatever, but if I can hit that Mewtwo, then that'll put me up in the Mewtwo war when that happens. Right. And Dan is at odd prizes, so he still has to go through three EXs. Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, I didn't love taking that knockout on the smear goal, but it felt important to limit your cards after you played in. Yeah. And then played nothing. Yeah, I mean, limiting the smear goal definitely. Um, I could see the. the like, especially it. with me having a supporter in hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Huh, that's pretty interesting. How does how does Dan punish me? Dan punishes me by having fighting energy and uh what's it called? Attack. Can I afford that? Well I'd still be short because of Eviolate. Yeah. That's okay. No tool removal in this format. Just yeah, it was kind of dumb. <laughs> Sucked. Yeah. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is play Junk Arm. Junk Arm. For the catcher. Ooh. I'm going to play plus power. Okay. Catcher up the Mewtwo. Celebration wind. Do that. So one, two, three, four, and then I play the plus power. So I'm just gonna X ball for knockout. <clears throat> so knocking out the Mewtwo with my Mewtwo is. Um, Important because pretty much Dance Terrakion is finally yeah Jeez. pretty much Dance Terrakion got um nullified. I mean he would need four plus powers. Revive Mewtwo. <clears throat> um. Celebration Wind. Yep. Juniper. Yep. One two three four five six seven. EV light. Yep. So that means that I have to have a double colorless and attach to one hit KO the Mewtwo back. I always just feel like you're missing one card. You know? Yeah. Attach. Retreat. Yep. X ball. X ball for knockout. So stupid. <laughs> yep, so I'll promote the smear goal. Attach. Or do that. He said attach, mid draw for turn. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Same thing. They're the same sometimes thing. Sometimes <laughs> I just say something and then a different thing. Or I think something and then a different thing comes out of my mouth. He's gonna attach, bet. Ooh, random <laughs> receiver. receiver. For Juniper. I don't know if I'll play it yet. We'll see. <clears throat> Let me see here. Um, hmm. Um, I'm just thinking, just like, do I go for it now? Uh, how many cards are in your hand, Dan? Seven. Seven. Okay.
I'll junk arm for plus power, I guess. Okay. <laughs> or maybe not plus power. I'll get an Eviolite light with the junk arm, and I'll attach to the shaman, and then I'll juniper. Okay. Oh, did I shuffle from the random receiver? No. Okay, so I'm gonna. <laughs> Why Eviolite on shaman? There's nothing else in there that I really want to play. Might as well get a value on Junk Arm. I run more than one Super Scoop up, too, so if I can get a Super Scoop up, I can. Yeah. And Evil Light is there. Because I definitely want to scoop up that Shaman. Right. Especially since my other Shaman's gone. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, Juniper. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> All right. Well then. Well then. Man, Mewtwo is super fun, said zero people. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, Dark Rye, Dark Patch. Okay. Attach. Yep. Portrait. I'll use the punt. You gotta. I gotta. So if I can get a Mewtwo super scoop up and then hit heads on that, then I just win. Because uh... <laughs> I can retreat and then just Celebration win stuff. Oh, yeah, Celebration win. I was going to say, um, no, you don't have energy. But, yeah, you would scoop up to shame it, not the yeah. smear. Goal. Oh, yeah, no, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna Ultra Ball. Okay. For uh, me too. Makes sense. I'm not gonna play it down though. Okay. <laughs> Which means what well, that tells me he doesn't have the scoop up. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> and then I'm gonna retreat into Dark Rye. And then Night Spear to 32 Celebi. Uh, 70, yep. A potion Mewtwo. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, yeah. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, I think um, this is pretty rough. If I can get an energy and a catcher, I just win next turn. Okay, I'm going to go junk arm. Yeah, I have a lot of outs. <clears throat> I guess I could have discarded the fighting instead of the punt, and just in case um, Dan end me. That was probably a better play. But that's okay. Grab switch. Uh, you have 130, so I need to do one. So 140, so 70. One, two, three. Yeah. Actually, you know, I think it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I think I grabbed the wrong thing. For with junk arm? Yeah. Yeah, you can I mean, you haven't played the switch, so yeah. Yeah, I'm just yeah. I'm just thinking, like yeah. if I retreat 
get rid of the grass energy. I need to switch. I don't know how many fighting energy I play. Um, I think it's two. Which is the um, that's the unfortunate part here. Yeah. Because if it's only two, then this plan is ruined. Yeah, I, I mean, I want a land crush. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I think you only run one Shaman as well, so. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Okay. Junk Arm. I think in any case, you, you definitely want some sort of N in this. In this uh... <clears throat> Because you just want to limit my outs, my yeah. my um, my win cons. Because I don't have N. I gotta hope you do. Yep. Or you or you could hope to that I have a supporter other so, than N, and then you draw into N. Yeah, I am gonna take the switch, and I will play it. Um, switch into Smeargle. Yep. <clears throat> Detach, Pont, <clears throat> Get that. <clears throat> Three, four, five, six. Junk arm? Yep. Potion. Okay. That's good. Yeah, so that's that's why you ran potion. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and then I guess if you also got pinged um by a dark eye, you could also potion yeah. and then you'd be a light. Yeah. Portrait. Sorry, bro. Only got Juniper. Rip. Oh, boy. You plan, right? Yep. Huh. What do I do here? I think I just got a pass. Okay. Yep. So you're going to pass then? Yeah. Okay. Draw. <sighs> okay. Going to put down Mewtwo. Junk. Oh, okay. Okay, there. sure, sure. sure. Do, do okay. <laughs> so put down Mewtwo. Junk arm. Catch up the Mewtwo. Juniper. Super scoop up. Good game. Good game. Damn. It does play three fighting. Energy. Oh, it does play three fighting. Well, it was in your prizes, so. <laughs> Rip. 
Good game, Dan. That was a good game. I um, Mewtwo Wars are so dumb. They are. <laughs> yeah, we can agree on that for sure. I, I wish I would have hit the the stadium like mm. earlier than turn five. Yeah, that would have been, been good. nice. <laughs> I forest breast. I forest breathed once. That game. <laughs> Jeez, that's rough. Yeah, it, it just uh, you're supposed to be able to pivot with it. Right, right, and right. And when you can't pivot with it. It, uh, it just becomes way worse. It's not that good. <laughs> yeah. Turns out. So, yeah. uh, but all right, you guys, uh, if you enjoyed that video of this wonderful CMT versus Darkrai game, make sure hit the thumbs up down below. Or if you hated it, hit the thumbs down. The interaction is really all that matters. Um, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you hit nothing, well, leave a comment. Yeah, um, just, just do something, please. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're going to have at least one more game. We might try to grab two. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to get Eel Zone in here. So uh, continue to watch the playlist. Make sure to go watch our other playlists. That is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. See you Goodbye, next time. everyone. <laughs>